Hey, what's up, y'all? And happy new year. We know that 2023 has already started off with a blast and um, still a lot of things happening in our world today. But man, praise be to God. Uh, he not only let us see a new day, but he also let us see a new year. So if you're watching this, God bless you. And uh, what a what a milestone that we have made to be able to, to transition from all the years of our lives up until this appointed time and certainly into a new 2023. We hope you had a fantastic holiday season, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, New Year's Day, and, and all those things, and, and that, you, um, that you're in great health and great spirits. Um, but we also want to keep in mind those that are experiencing their season of firsts. And um, that's very near and dear to my heart. I remember the seasons of firsts that, that I've had to experience in the loss of my mom and my brother um, and, and our family had to go through that. And also some other loved ones uh, that had passed away. It was, it was very difficult times. Um, however, when you trust the Lord and when you know the Lord and when you have a wonderful relationship with him, while we may grieve in our hearts and our and our spirits are, are some seeming seemingly low sometimes, excuse me, um, God is right there. Something he does, uh, places that he puts us in, uh, the things that he, he allows us to reflect on lets us know that he still has us in his hands. And uh, there's, there's no greater hands to be in than the Lord. So we certainly want to keep all of those um, who are experiencing their firsts in the loss of their loved ones. We want to keep you in our thoughts and prayers. And we do that uh, because it's very near and dear to my heart, as I said earlier. Listen, I am not one for New Year's resolutions or New Year resolutions or whatever you want to call them. Um, I've seen some great, great models, um, different churches, different organizations, different people. They've had some great models about what they're going to do in 2023. And, um, uh, and those are great. I don't knock any of those, but I'm going to challenge each and every one of you to trust God more, um, because that's what I'm going to, I'm going to strive to do. Trust God more. Um, when, when I can't see, um, at the top of the staircase and I'm getting ready to take that first step and, and I know that it's dark, I want to be able to trust God that when I take that first step, even to the end, the to that darkened staircase that he is going to guide me all the way. He's not going to let me fall. He's going to guide me all the way. And so that's what I'm asking you, you know, because uh, this world, y'all, let's just face it. It's a crazy world, y'all. It's crazy. And it's going to still be crazy because uh, the things are uh, things that, as we know it, are coming to a close. And, uh, you know, the Lord is, is soon to return. That's the reality. And so before he returns, there's some things that's going to going to continue to happen. And so why not just trust the Lord? Why not put your hands in the hands of the master, in the in the hands of the one who can? Um, I have a very limited power, <laughs> and and but the power that I have um, is certainly from on high, and I am grateful for that. So uh, I'm just going to challenge you this year. Uh, let's start now. Trust God every day. Trust God with the things that that you feel like you got to have your hands on. Trust Him to let you be able to take your hands off those those situations, those kids that that may have gone astray. Trust God um, that you planted something in them. And while we may not live to see it, my brothers and sisters. God will be able to be the one to bring it to pass. Remember, with man, things seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I want to leave you this. Someone was so kind to uh, uh, gift um, my wife and I these this uh, little small um, uh, box of cards and it's, and it's promises uh, from God for every man. And then my wife has one promises uh, from God for every woman. And so uh, I've been reading these since uh, since the year started, since January 1. And so today's uh, is what I want to leave you with. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. That's what I want to leave you with. Um, not only trust God, but that the Lord bless you and keep you. That's my prayer. And continued growth and continued trust in him. Trust in the one who has all power in his hand. Happy New Year and happy new you. God bless you and take care.